All right, y'all, I'm starting with about two pounds of chicken breast. So depending on the size, it could be two, three, four. And we're just putting those right at the bottom of our greased crock pot. All right, before we do anything else, we need some seasoning. So we're gonna use some Kraft black pepper. Good amount, all right. We're gonna use a little bit of garlic powder. Just a nice dusting on top of each one. And then we're also gonna use some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna put that right on top. Be generous, y'all, be generous with your seasonings. So we also have one packet of onion soup mix, so we're gonna put that right on top as well. All right, just like that, y'all, I'm so excited. All right, next, we have one can of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna put that right on in. There we go, it's blobbing out finally. I got my little baby spatula here. I'm gonna get that all out. All right, all right. Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Get that all out. All right. Next, y'all, I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. Two cups. All right, just like that. We also gonna use a little bit of chicken broth, about one cup. So I'm just gonna measure it right in this thing cause it's all going in the same place, don't matter. So I have chicken broth right on in, one cup. Just like that. All right. Now, y'all, I have a little bit of hot sauce here. This is optional, but we're just gonna put a little bit. Just maybe like a tablespoon or two. Depends, you know, whatever, whatever y'all like, all right? Um, we also now have half a stick of butter right on in. And then we have eight ounces of cream cheese, all right? So we're just gonna put this right on in, right on top, like so. Just like that, nice and easy. All right, y'all, so we're gonna give this a little mixy mix. Just a little bit, right? Because the, the cream cheese and the butter go melt when it's cooking. So basically, yeah, I mean, I guess you don't really have to mix it. But uh, just move the soup around, the seasonings. All right, y'all, so this is the first step. This is an easy one, one basically one dish, crock pot dinner. So we're gonna cover this and cook it on low for about two hours, and then I'm gonna show y'all the next step. Y'all are gonna love this easy dinner. All right, y'all, so this has been cooking on my crock pot for a while now. So our next step here is gonna, I'm gonna take two forks and just eat, uh, start shredding my chicken up, all right? So we're gonna shred it up real good. All right, y'all, so once your chicken is nice and shredded, our next step here, we're gonna take one box, one pound of ziti pasta. Y'all can use whatever kind of pasta you like. We're gonna dump that right in. We also gonna take uh, six ounces of Parmesan cheese and that's going right in as well. Like so. We're gonna give this a little mix. Incorporate everything together, all right? So y'all can shred the chicken as much or as little as you'd like. Um, I, I, I did a good amount, but then, you know, my, my arms started getting tired, so I stopped. We're just gonna give this nice mix to make sure everything's combined. And yes, I did put dry pasta in here, all right? So it's kind of like a one pot, all in one, delicious, easy dinner. All right, so once that's all mixed, we're gonna add a cup and a half more chicken stock right on in, just like so. And then on top, we're gonna put about eight ounces of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Y'all can use a different cheese if you'd like, but I like this cheese for this recipe, all right? So we're just gonna put this right on top. I'll make sure I cover it all. Yep, we're using the whole, the, whole, the whole brick. This was an eight ounce brick of cheese. I shredded it up and that's what we're using, all right? So we're just gonna finish this here with a little bit of green onion. And we're gonna cook this on high for about 45 more minutes, y'all, and then it's gonna be perfect. And I can't wait to show y'all this delicious, easy chicken pasta. All right, y'all. So here we have our chicken pasta, one pot crock pot meal. So remember, we cooked the chicken first, then we shredded it, and we added some pasta, and then we cooked it for about 45 more minutes. So this is just one delicious pot of goodness, y'all. Plain goodness. This smells so good. Don't this smell good, Fred? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, says Fred. All right. So I'm just going to give it a little stir. Look at all that cheese, y'all. This looks so good. I'm excited. This is, this is a huge portion. All right. So uh, guess what, y'all? Let's, let's serve some up. Look at all that cheese. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. All right. We're going to try and get it right on our plate. I'm trying. Look at this, y'all. Oh, my goodness. This is so. This looks so good. All right. Y'all like how I always give myself these huge portions? 
right. I'm gonna move my crock pot out of the way. I cut my finger, y'all, so uh, I'm, I'm a little bit, uh, yeah, having a hard time right now, but I'm gonna move this over. All right, y'all, time to eat. This is gonna be real hot, so guess what? I'm gonna have a little tiny bite. Actually, I'm gonna get a piece of this chicken, too. Hopefully, I don't burn my tongue. Y'all, this is so good. Y'all, with that, that onion soup uh, flavoring mix, that stuff makes this so good. All right, y'all, I'm about to eat this whole plate because I'm so hungry. Y'all should try this. It's so good.